Hello everybody, I'm here to continue the Prince song on, uh, the Prince story. I uh, didn't quite manage it before so I'm re-recording this bit. Uh, it's not meant to sound sad, it's just meant to sound, what is it called, sort of, ah, thoughtful. So, here we are, shall I put the music on. The fourth planet belonged to a businessman. This man was so much occupied that he did not even raise his head at the little prince's arrival. I'm just doing my work, you know. Good morning, the little prince said to him. Your cigarette has gone out. Three and two make five. Five and seven make twelve. Twelve and three make fifteen. Good morning, fifteen and seven make twenty-two. Twenty-two and six make twenty-eight. I haven't time to light it again. Twenty-six and five make thirty-one. Phew! Then that makes five hundred and one million six hundred twenty-two thousand seven hundred and thirty-one. Five hundred million what? asked the little prince. Eh? Are you still here? Five hundred and one million. I cannot stop. I have so much to do. I am concerned with matters of consequence. I don't amuse myself with balderdash. Two and five make seven. Five hundred and one million what? repeated the little prince, who never in his life had let go of a question once he had asked it. The businessman raised his head. During the fifty-four years that I have inhabited this planet, I have been disturbed only three times. The first time was twenty-two years ago, when some giddy goose fell from goodness knows where. He made the most frightful noise that resounded all over the place, and I made four mistakes in my addition. The second time, eleven years ago, I was disturbed by an attack of rheumatism. I don't get enough exercise. I have no time for loafing. The third time, well, this is it. I was saying, then 501 millions. Millions of what? The businessman suddenly realized that there was no hope of being left in peace until he answered this question. Millions of those little objects, he said, which one sometimes sees in the sky. Flies, oh no, little glittering objects. Bees, oh no, little golden objects that set lazy men to idle dreaming. As for me, I'm concerned with matters of consequence. There is no time for idle dreaming in my life. Ah, you mean the stars. Yes, that's it, the stars. And what do you do with 500 millions of stars? 501 million. 622,731. I am concerned with matters of consequence. I am accurate. And what do you do with these stars? What do I do with them? Yes. Nothing. I own them. You own the stars? Yes. But I have already seen a king who... Kings do not own. They reign over. It's a very different matter. And what good does it do to you to own the stars? does me the good of making me rich. And what good does it do to you to be rich? It makes it possible for me to buy more stars than any I've discovered. 